How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel and today what I've got is another player review and in today's review we're going to be having a look at Omar Al Sommer. So just before we get anything to add, if you could drop a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Also do remember to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here down below, that would be awesome. So we'll jump straight into things and I should just say by starting off, Al Sommer is how well, in previous years, in previous FIFAs, he has been known as the cheap Eber. So in this video we're going to be finding out is he actually the cheap Eber again this year because you know, Ibra has lost his pace a lot. He's gone down to like 65 pace, something like that. Ibra is now. Al Sommer on his, uh, on his inform card has got 78 pace, so not too bad there. He's got a uh, 78 dribbling as well, which isn't terrible for a big striker, really. Not absolutely terrible, I suppose. He's got 85 shooting again, which is very, very nice. 45 defending, 75 passing, which again, that's pretty decent for a striker, to be honest. Someone that's 6'4". Then he's got 82 physical as well, which again is very, very nice. So he's got um, he's like six foot tall, uh, six foot four tall even. So for a striker being six foot four is actually amazing, just because most centre backs um, you find they're normally like six two probably. That's probably about the average of six one something like that. And he's actually taller than most centre backs, which is very very nice. He's also got high low wear rates. That's perfect wear rates in my opinion for a striker. Either I prefer I like high medium and high and high low wear rates. Those are my personal favourites. He's got a four star weak foot and four star skill moves, which are very decent as well. Very nice having a four star weak foot. And 4 star skill moves as well, you can do a few skill moves with him. Also, I did pick up this card for around 13,000 coins, so he is a near enough discard in form, which is pretty decent to be honest. Obviously, he's difficult to link into teams, that's a pretty big negative with him, just because um, he's from, uh, is it Saudi League, I think it is, and then he's from Syria as well, so there's not really, it's very, it's very, very difficult to link him up with other players, so that's pretty much a pretty big negative with him. But yeah, his record form, he played four, scored one goal only, and then got four assists as well, so you'll be able to kind of tell. You just get, you just kind of, you just kind of uh, bring others into play and get a few assists. So yeah, looking at Al Sommer's in-game stats, they do look okay. They don't look fantastic normally. With them, um, well, for example, I did review Alessandrini uh, yesterday, and uh, he did have a lot more dark green stats than Al Sommer. He's very, Al, Al Sommer's dark green stats. He's got a few, well, he's got a few out ones. He's got 86 finishing, which is very good. Um, 90 shot power, 81 long shots, 85 strength, which is a big one. 87 stamina as well. Just uh, yeah, he's got he's got a few dark greens, but it's mainly more, more in the light greens, really. So yeah, now anyway, guys, now we've all that out of the way, we'll go and have a look at all the in-game clips that I got with Omar Al Sommer. Okay, then, guys, so now jumping into all the clips that I got with Al Sommer, all the goals, all the assists, and all the bad moments as well. So we'll start off with the positives that I found with Al Sommer. Now the first one would have to be his strength. You'll be able to see quite a lot of the clips. Um, he's, well, he's holding up the play really well. He's a very good strike if you want to kind of get the ball quickly up to your strike. I was playing a 4-3-2-1. And I'm not really a huge fan of that formation. I find that the front throw kind of pushed a bit too high and you don't really have like a cam or well, a cam, I think. You, you kind of miss out on that formation. So good that Al Sommer kind of, uh, you can just try to drill it up to him. Then he has the strength to hold up the centre-back, uh, trying to put, trying to press the ball, which is definitely a really good positive, really, because I'd say in a 4-3-2-1, I don't really use the formation too much. This is like the first time I've used it in uh, Ultimate Team. I've used it in Draft, but in Ultimate Team, this is the first time I've used it. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. So I think if, kind of, if you had like a small striker, It'll be quite a bit harder just because you can't because of the striker. Like when you if you drill up to your striker, your small striker won't really be able to hold it up. But someone like Al Sommer is really good at holding up the play, so it does kind of suit him this kind of formation. So yeah, that's definitely a positive there. Also, another positive for him would be it would be kind of um, just this hold up play and bringing the other players into the play, which is very very decent because you know he's, um, it's, it's difficult when you've got when you're playing a 4-3-2-1 in my opinion. You've only got two other players that are up really with you, so you kind of need to just uh, get the ball, hold LT with him and then um, just let the other players make a run of him. That's what he's very good for, so definitely that's a positive. Also, another positive would have to be his heading as well. Just um, getting up to the headers and winning headers. I put, uh, he, well, he won a lot of headers, but I only put one in the, in the clip just to prove that he does. So yeah, from goal kicks, he's uh, very good at winning, winning the flick-ons, which I'm definitely a fan of, because normally if you have a small striker, they're not really going to be winning any flick-ons for you. So El Sommer's going to be definitely winning more headers than he loses, which is a great positive, to be honest, because it is quite frustrating when you have a goal kick, you don't really know where to kick it, because you know if you're going to kick it up to a small striker, then you're not going to be able to get any flick-ons. So having someone like El Sommer gives you definitely a different option. And uh, I would go into a negative with him. Pretty much, I didn't really seem to find El Sommer in the box too much. Basically, when it comes to crossing, I, he was never really in the position. When he was in the box, he never really got in a position to score. Which was a bit of a negative, to be honest. I'm, like, I wanted to get some crosses in. I wanted to test his heading, get a few headed goals with him. But 
he was just never in the positions to get a good cross into the box with. So that's got to be a negative with him. Also, his finishing wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be, to be honest. So if I was to give Alisson an overall rating out of 10, I'd give him a 6. I think he's decent. So yeah, he is kind of the similar type of player to Ibrahimovic again, but he's not as good, in my opinion, in, as, as I've used him in previous years. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you are new and here. Hopefully, Alisson will get a few more informs that I'll review in the future. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.